Hello all you beautiful people, how are you doing today? This is Love of Tim Tristan, welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new here, welcome, hi! So today we're going to be talking about some Twilight Forest tips that we did not go over in the boss order. So first of all, we didn't talk about the giants. And so the giants, you're going to want to find one of these clouds, if you will. And there's going to be these giants you have to come fight. And you can kill them any way you want to. And just like that, and we picked up this giant pickaxe. Look at this thing. It's absolutely humongous. Now this guy's armored, and they will always look like your Minecraft character. And you kill them any way you want. And now we got a giant sword. And you got to be careful. Oh, there's more. They're, they, they just keep spawning. Okay, usually they don't keep spawning. Usually there's two. So I don't know why they keep spawning this time. Oh, the astro Oh, hello. So you gotta be careful of the acid rain. That's because we cannot go in that area yet. And we're gonna get hurt every time we're in it. Okay, but all we needed was the pickaxe. So now we wanna go down here. And we want to dig quite a bit down here. Okay, so. Oops. You're gonna dig down here. The rest of this really doesn't matter. Uh, that's not gonna work for food. All right, hold on, let me empty my inventory. Okay, emptied our inventory. So we're just gonna dig down. What we're looking for, it's called giant obsidian. And trust me, you'll know it when you see it. All right, so here's where we wanna go. I got the Hydra Chops out to eat because, uh, yeah, we hungry. All right, you're going to have lots of mobs down here, so this is going to be fun. But Hollow Hills are a great place to get lots of stuff. Okay, that's kind of fit funny. The witches are poisoning each other. Come on. All right, well, let's see. Can we see it yet? Oh, what the hell? I don't know why I got knocked down. Wait, well, I don't see it yet. So let me find the obsidian and I will get back. Okay. First of all, I dug through quite a bit of this in order to find it. And um, there is a lot of diamonds here, so make sure you come to the twilight and go through like the hollow hills and stuff because it has some good stuff in here. Let me get rid of this annoying. There we go. All right. So that right there is what we're looking for. Unfortunately, in ours, it is in the, well, it's in, I don't know why, but it is in the... Acid rain. Bad spawning, I guess. Oh, I'm not sure if this is going to work. Okay, hold on. Uh, excuse me, sir. Screw you. All right, I'm going to eat a golden apple and we're going to try to go in. And it's weird because you're going to mine it with a, a... It's a stone pickaxe, but it's the giant's one. So that's what you need. Come on. There we go. All right. We got extra hearts. Let's go vein mine it. This is going to take a minute, but that's okay. That's 
why you ate the golden apple. All right, so here's what we want. We want the lamp of cinders. Ta-da, achievement. And now that we have the lamp of cinders, oh yeah, you also want these, the magic beans. And the uberous soil, that's so you can plant the magic beans. Which is funny because we're already here, but. Um, so the now that we have the cinders, lamp of cinders, you can see we're not getting hurt anymore. No more acid rain. Yay. That's because we can actually go into this tower area now. This is where we're actually going to go. But first of all, let's look at the, at the magic beans. All right. So there's already uber soil here. So we're going to take these uh, magic beans. We're going to plant them. Ah! I forgot. You want to step back when you plant it. So this is supposed to be your stairway. Ta-da. Ta-da. To get up here, which is weird. Right? Voila. And then you can also get beanstalk leaves, which brings me to another point. You want to make sure and bring a set of shears here. Okay, now on normal worlds, you have to get through a lot of this briar. But with this one, you're going to take your cinder lamp and you're going to right click and it's going to burn them. And if you hold right click, it'll burn an area like that. Nice. Now, this castle is not complete yet. Um, and I think I threw it away. Oh no, we have it right here. Tower key. But these blocks are pretty fun to get because you can make your own little castle doors with them, which makes it kind of fun. But of course here you have flight. So you can just go up wherever. Whoops. Careful not to hit the briar because it does hurt you. All right. So there's supposed to be a boss. We're over here. Dun, da, da, da. Dun, 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 dun. Final boss here. See, you can join the Twilight Discord server. But right now it's just a kobold. This is not going to be what it, it it's actually going to be. Like, it's not going to be the boss. Golden apple for the win! Because I was totally not paying attention. Wow, I'm not even hitting him. He hits hard, though. Excuse me, sir. There, now I'm not flying no more. Ah, you win! Yay! Oh my god, I won! So like I said, right now it's not really done. This is not what it's going to be like when it's really done. But this is still a work in progress. They are still working on the mod. But just so you know, when you get here, it is not bugged. Um, but you can take blocks and stuff off here, so it is kind of cool. Like I said, the door blocks are pretty cool. I like the door blocks. But that's also why, um, you know, oh yeah, cake. That's also why some of this looks the way it does. Kind of weird, right? At least I think it's weird. But I like the doors, so I grab the doors. And look at this. It's going to be a, a cube ba, a cube mob that you fight, but right now it's just a block guy, which is weird. Oh yeah, these are weird too. But look, it gave us new progress. So, you know, if you want to come in here, it, it, it's great. It's a lot of fun. Just take a look around, but just know that it is not complete. Uh, excuse me. Excuse me, I'm just trying to mine the door. 
Excuse me. Yeah. Run away, bitches. Thank you. Hey. I said run away. But it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Alright, so let's go to the next thing. And I will be right there. back and meet you there. Okay, last time we didn't go over the maze spider, but maze spider is pretty easy to kill, obviously. You just come in one of these mazes. If you have flight, it's even easier. Oh, look. Uh, those are the dogs. Where's the spiders? Wait, is this one only going to spawn the, the dogs? The evil dogs? Yeah. Um, but, uh, I just saw a hollow hill. Where did it go? There it is. So hollow hills. There's three different sizes. Um, and actually this is perfect because here's one size and there is another. And you can see the visible difference. So I like to go through and mine through them. Uh, they are excellent for resources. But also, if you look on the outside... Especially if you're needing, like, diamonds or something. I like to just vein mine my way in, but, you know, everybody likes to do their own thing, so that's up to you. But it is a great way to come and get resources if you need them. Just know that there are lots of mobs and spawners. But that means there also is some loot here. Now, of course... Yeah, and then, of course... The swarm spiders. I hate the swarm spiders. Ugh. Like, ugh. I don't like spiders in Minecraft anyway, but the swarm ones, ugh. Ah, just no. Um, but yeah, there's lots of loot here. Uh, the, what you get is based off of what size one you go in. So just keep that in mind. Um, where did I dig my way in? I don't know. Let me dig my way back out and... We'll go take a look at the other one. Okay, so there's different kinds of goblins in each kind that you go to. So make sure you kill the goblins for each one. There's the red cap. Uh, damn it, stop it. Uh, the red cap, that's the one that we just killed. And then there is also... Not there... Advancements. Okay, so there's also the Bogard. Oh, the red cap. I thought we just killed the red cap. I killed swarm spiders. What the hell? Uh, oh, okay, red caps. Uh, sapper. So we got... Which one did we get? These you do have to do in order. So the red cap and the Bogard. And then the red cap sapper and the medium. So... Those do have to be done in order. Alright, there was one other thing. Okay, so, um, as far as the food, Experiment 115, that was actually found in the Yurgas Tower. I know a lot of people uh, don't know how to get that. Um, and make sure, like I said, let's go to one of the Yurgas Towers because there's also some wood there we're going to need to, um... When you go to the towers here, I usually go up a little bit higher, and then you go in one of the doors, and I know I showed this a little bit on the boss fight one, but, uh, so for instance, if we were to go in here, there's chest and stuff in here, but there's also, like that one just has a spawner. Um, oh, hello. Um, of course this one does not have a chest. When I'm trying to show you, you can get a chest. Oh, here we go. Okay, so if you come to one like this, first of all, there's lots of goodies here, but also... That one is jungle leaves. Hello, spider. Uh, no, that's a jungle one. 
Uh, dark wood can be found here. Oh, hello. Lots of blaze. Oh, you're gonna light this place up. Thanks for the light. All right, so if we look down here, obviously there's all kinds of stuff. So that's gonna send lots of things. Okay, so here's a chest down here. Uh, and that's a bad example because that... It does have a charm of keeping, but it does not have any of the dark wood that you need. Okay, so let me find what I'm trying to show you. I'll be right back. Okay, so here's what I mean. If you find one of these towers, and it has these spawners in it, but it has all this twilight oak... So you could take this to make all the twilight oak that you need. Uh, to make all the twilight stuff that you need. So for instance, all these. And of course it's not for all of them because you also need the dark sapling. But that's an easy way to get the twilight oak. Gotta love these mazes, right? And we're back where we started. Which is hilarious. But if you look around, there's also the dark wood too. Not just the uh, twilight wood. And have fun playing with these. Uh, let's see if you do that. And that and that right uh oh, one more okay but back up when you do that so you're going to create these reappearing blocks Makes all the do blocks disappear, but it also creates these guys, which if you have a bunch of stuff, it's not going to be a big deal. Like if you have good equipment to kill them, but fair warning when you do that. Yeah, it's not what you think it's going to be. <laughs> all right. Um, there's one other thing. Let me see. I, well, I think that's about it. Um, I, there was something else I was going to tell you and honestly, I forgot. Um, if you missed the episode, I did one on the bosses. That's why those aren't covered in here. Um, but most importantly, have fun in the twilight. Explore everything. The twilight is awesome. I have been here numerous times with numerous different packs. I like the way Sky Factory 4 does it a little bit differently. So just have fun. Explore, you know, find some new building blocks. Like these are always fun to mine and that way you have something extra to build with so let me know do you have any extra tips that i forgot you think i should have included let me know that's it for this time and if you have any request for any tutorials leave it down below and i'll see what i can do until next time this is lava temptress don't get burned